What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I just want to come on here, do a quick pocket dump, throw down a little True Budget EDC and Prepping uh, background so you guys can see easier. And let's get into what I got today. Uh, for watches, got the Fossil Nate right there and the uh, Hakuna Matata. Um, smartwatch just for steps and stuff like that and notifications and all that good stuff uh so main knife today oh deca magna cut love the deca it's really sick i mean i don't know i love the stone washing on this thing it's like i don't know if you can even see there you go yeah it's just it's sick at first i didn't like the way the blade was shaped but I, over time just got so used to it i like it a lot uh flashlight through night archer pro v2 um super sick little flashlight uh didn't really do a review on it. I might. I don't know. It's uh, it's got infinite ramp. It ramps up from 13 to what 430, and it's got a 950 uh, turbo mode. It does got a, a a strobe if you need that. Uh, lockout and a moonlight mode. It's pretty sick. It's real small. Um, I went back kind of to the smaller flashlights. Uh, I've been carrying this, um, and I still carry this. I mean, this is a SD29. So from something I have to review. Uh, I'm waiting until after the Chinese New Year to do it. They asked me to wait, so I'll do it then. Um, but, you know, depending on different situation, I'll carry this or I'll carry a bigger light similar to this, depending on what's going on. But I've been carrying that, and I love those. Those are great. Um, got some hot sauce from Police Magnum. Also, I've been carrying a little uh, notepad. I got these from, um, geez, I don't know, Amazon. They're like a no-name brand. They're called PFT Value, so I guess it's... <laughs> value <laughs> like i don't know but they're good they're solid they're uh lined little lined notepads uh they're actually sewn together there's no stapling there it's stitched if you can see that uh 399 for four i will put that in the uh description actually so you guys can check those out if you like to write stuff down i just forget everything and my wife keeps saying oh you're gonna write stuff down you're gonna write stuff down and i never do and uh i started doing it because somebody else said it too and it's actually super useful so i'm really kind of liking that uh then i picked up the uh Kaviko sport this is just a plastic version uh rollerball uh probably one of the best mini pens out there honestly um I think these are sick. I actually, I'll link this in the description too. Um, so these are great. And I actually, um, I don't know where I saw these. Uh, I think Sagoglin Jack had it because he does a lot of journaling and stuff. So you get a chance, check out Sagoglin Jack. I'll link his, uh, his channel in the description as well. And you guys can go check out his channel. Um, but he's got a lot of pens and journaling and I happened to see that he had this one. So I looked into it and it's from Germany been around a long time 1911 this particular pen i think the company's been around since like 1880 something early 1883 maybe um so super sick pen and it takes uh parker jotter inserts which is great because i have a few parker jotter pens and they came with blue ink and i don't really like blue ink so i ended up buying a four pack of inserts and now i have like two pens that have the inserts in them and i have like four extras so it's really great for me to use them in this so i'll, I'll use the one that came with it it comes with a 0.07 uh ink gel so that's pretty cool so those are uh my writing utensils i've been carrying around i also have uh larger ones obviously i have a uh, portage um, i've been using portage i have log and jotter i have like uh carry notes i have so many uh notepads my wife was just like dude you got like 60 notepads that you collect like what why aren't you using them like write stuff down so i was like okay cool finally listened and uh again this is a sick pen this is like probably in my opinion one of the best ones i mean like i said this is just a plastic version they have other uh colorways they have like brass ones like you can check them out on amazon check them out wherever i got this on amazon so i'll put my amazon uh Associates link in there. When you click on that, you get a I get a little kickback. So uh, full disclosure on that has the uh, gold finial. It says Kawiko right there. Kaveco actually, I think it's pronounced. Um, so yeah, if you get a chance, uh, check it. Also, Jet Pens uh, on Amazon. Not on Amazon. Jet Pens is a YouTube channel. They do all pens and like you know 
just all kinds of stuff about stationery. Galen leather too. They have they sell them too. So they're all over. Like I said, this is about twenty bucks uh, with tax and everything. So seventeen dollars. It came to like nineteen ninety eight. So it's definitely worth it. And like I said, Parker Jotter refills are readily accessible everywhere. So it's really good. You don't have to get some fancy, um, you know, some fancy insert that you can't find. So that's the pen and paper that I have. And then for my little uh, belt knife. Carrying the Watchman knife that I got uh, a while back. It is the uh, WF220. Um, it's a clone. I didn't know it was a clone. I bought it. It's a clone. <laughs> it's like, a, I think it's a Boker knife ripoff for the uh, the Vox um, Boker Nesame. And uh, it's also a fake tech lock, so whatever. My card is nice. I mean, like I said before in the past, it sucks that they steal designs because this is actually put together really well. 14C28N. And my card is nice. Um, they should just like use their own designs, seriously. But you know what? I paid for it. I bought it. I not, I didn't know it was a clone, so it's not like I'm, I'm buying clones on purpose. Uh, so I'm gonna beat the living crap out of it. See how it holds up. Um, yeah. So. Figure since I paid for it, I might as well use it, right? Even if it is a clone. But that is what I got on me today. What do you guys have on you? Put it down in the description. No, not in the description. In the comments. Put it in the comments. Yeah, get your shit together, Rich. <laughs> put it. Put your uh, what you're carrying in the comments. And uh, you guys have a great Saturday.